Hello, I'm David and welcome to Top Whistle, the Irish Whistle Review Show. On this episode I am reviewing the G Milligan Whistle, which is made by G Milligan of Denver, Colorado, USA. It's a high-end handmade whistle. It's made from Cockabolo diamond wood and it has a very nice old-fashioned aesthetic design to it which I really have to say I really like about this whistle at a glance and additionally it has a brass tuning slide so for those who wish to achieve concert pitch that facility is there and the cost of this whistle is 185 American dollars and the, the maker Gene makes a variety of whistles that are dedicated to certain keys and he also makes them from a variety of different materials ranging from exotic woods to more conventional materials like aluminium and plastic and he also has two different types of mouthpieces this one here is the session mouthpiece which makes it be more louder and there's a different one which is the practice session which is designed to be more quiet and if you notice I've engraved my name on it because Gene you know he has that as part of the service and I couldn't resist to be completely honest and what makes this also unique is if you look at the back I'm not sure if this will show up but you can see G Milligan has put his own details on there along with this beautiful Irish cross on there which I have to say I really like about this whistle at an aesthetic glance and it's a high in demand whistle so I hear for professionals and it too like the sim whistle has a very thick cylindrical bore if you can see that in focus and with all I've mentioned is it worth the price? Well let's find out After playing the whistle, I have to say the good points about this whistle are it has a very warm, airy sound to it. It's very loud. It can easily be played in a noisy environment like an orchestra and a bar. It's highly responsive. The whistle easily handles playing quick ornamental notes in succession like crams. The sound comes out very crisp and clear. It's definitely a pick up and play whistle. It doesn't need warming up like the conventional metallic whistles that are out there on the market. It's definitely a good outdoor whistle. There were no problems at all in the windy environment tests. So if you're a busker, this is ideal for busking. And a great thing about this whistle is I hardly experienced any clogging problems with the mouthpiece. I could play this continuously non-stop without having to clear the mouthpiece at all. And for a wooden whistle this is great because it requires little to no maintenance like the traditional wooden ones because it's diamond wood which means it's specially laminated making it more moisture resistant however if you want a link detailing how to maintain a wooden whistle there is a link in the comment box below now if I was to move on to now the bad points about this whistle where there are problems with I definitely will say the air requirements for volume is very high it basically takes a lot of breath to play and as a consequence you'll easily run out of breath playing this. 
So you have to be really disciplined with your breathing as you play. And as a consequence, I think this will make playing the whistle difficult for a beginner to novice player. So this is definitely an advanced to professional level instrument. After playing this whistle extensively, I've decided to score this one a respectable 9.5 out of 10. The quality of this whistle is very high from a craftsmanship perspective and from a playing perspective that complements it. It's a whistle that I would definitely recommend for a professional player who wants a whistle that's loud and flexible enough to be played both in and outdoors. It requires little maintenance for a wooden whistle and pretty much what more can you ask? It's better than buying a wooden whistle and regularly maintaining it every so often, which can be for some players you know, a bit of a pain to do. Now, if you want to purchase this whistle, there are definitely links in the description box below to Gene Milligan's website, along with a few others, if you wish to purchase his whistle, which I would definitely recommend to anyone who's interested. And if you want to follow my show, please do hit the subscribe button. And if you want to make a request for me to review a whistle, leave a comment in the comment box below, and I'll see you all again next time. Goodbye.